This debris on the seafloor is all that remains of a 160-year-old slave ship. Mexican scientists recently identified the vessel as La Unión, believed to have gone down in September of 1861. The big takeaway after uniting this multidisciplined investigation is that we know for a fact this is the steamboat La Unión, which sank on September 19, 1861. We also know that apart from the cargo that was being hauled to Cuba, there were Mayans illegally held captive aboard. Though the wreckage of the ship was first located in 2017, researchers are still shining a light into its history. The wreck of La Union off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula is the first ever Mayan slave ship ever to be identified. Researchers say it provides evidence of the enslavement of indigenous people long after the abolishment of slavery in Mexico. The time period also coincides with the War of the Castes, a revolt led by indigenous people of the Yucatan Peninsula against the population of European descendants, a conflict that lasted through the end of the 19th century. Scientists say the discovery helps to establish a historical record for the descendants of indigenous Mayans whose ancestors had been brutalized and exploited since the days of the American conquest. Beyond elements of justice, it would be worth finding the descendants of those who stayed behind on the Yucatan Peninsula and those who were taken to Cuba and find out their story. I think that's the most important part, the human element. Experts say despite its many years under the sea, the wooden hull of La Union is well preserved, aiding in the accurate identification of the vessel. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.